Street food has come a long ways since the days of hot dogs and burger stands and even popcorn stands. But food trucks have taken the U.S. by storm. They're everywhere. And it's a similar story up north in Canada as well. But restaurant owners in Canada's biggest city claim these food trucks hurt businesses. Christian Yo explains from Toronto. It's lunchtime in downtown Toronto, and for food truck owner Matt Bazilli, the mild May weather means the start of another season on the road. This is my only food truck, and we've been on the roads now. This will be our third summer. Matt's truck is one of about 50 operating throughout Toronto. They're proving a hit with the city worker lunch crowd. I'm a foodie, and I love to try different things, and they're easily accessible, so if they're nearby at lunch hour, it's convenient. They give you something unique that, to try that you won't really get anywhere else. Food trucks tend to be good food. Uh, I like the mix. We get we get at least one or two every single day. So, you know, I'm never eating the same thing. Whether it's pulled pork, grilled cheese, a burrito or frozen yogurt, it's still fast food, but a far cry from the humble hot dog stand. It's not just easy, cheap and somewhat edible, somewhat not edible. You know, I think it's about finding you know, a real culinary experience, packaging it in a different way and making it accessible to people that still eat it on the streets. These trucks have hit something of a barrier if they want to operate curbside near traditional lunch eateries because of new restrictions imposed by Toronto City Hall. Food trucks are more popular than ever before in Toronto, but operating one on public property has just been made more costly and more difficult. A permit will now set you back around 5,000 Canadian dollars, and they can't operate within 50 meters of a traditional bricks and mortar restaurant. Some restaurant owners say trucks not only steal their business in the summer, but also enjoy much lower overheads, giving them an unfair advantage. A brick and mortar restaurant over many years have created a destination They've helped job growth, uh, they've, uh, they've had great service or menu, and that's what draws the traffic in. And, and we don't feel that it is fair for a mobile unit that has the advantage of much lower fixed and much lower variable cost to take revenues away uh, from the success of a brick and mortar restaurant. But according to Basili, who opened his first brick and mortar restaurant last year, while overheads for trucks may be lower, so is the potential for profit. You'll never be able to service as many people on a food truck as you would a restaurant. You can't sell alcohol, and there's a certain price point. Like You really can't sell anything for over 11, 12 bucks, because it's a food truck sale, right? So there's a lot of limitations. So yeah, you know what? There aren't as many fees associated with a food truck, but you'd also never, ever see the sales that a restaurant gets. Food on four wheels is shaking up Toronto's already competitive culinary industry. Trucks are becoming a popular way for budding chefs to test their talents and get their brands off the ground. Christian Yo, CCTV, Toronto.